For the last couple months, I've been trying to work out a ride with a few of the guys from the group. Today may actually work out. Let's get that going. All right, well, we're getting ready to go out with a few guys from the group and go ahead and get a little ride in. I think I've got everything I need down there. I've got my cameras, got a couple GoPros, extra helmets, batteries, everything like that. So I think we're ready to go. First, let's get a little coffee in us, then let's go ahead and hit the road. very first thing we're going to do is go ahead and ride out, meet up with my dad, make sure that he's good to go. Uh, from there, we're going to ride over and meet up with a couple of other guys. we got Matthew and Jeffrey that we're going to meet out. And then from there, we're going to ride out to Bolivar and meet up with uh, Chris. Go ahead and take a few pictures and everything like that. And then from there, we should be ready to go. Now the first bike with us today is Matthew Seaworth's 08 Yamaha Warrior. It's got a 260 Kylan V kit with an Avon 250 on the back, Radiance LED taillight, Cobra Shorts exhaust, XK Chrome LED kit, ape hangers with 4 inch extended cables and brake lines, a Boulevard windscreen, an Ayabak 1000 pound spring with adjustable links, and a low and mean Reaper fender. Also riding with us today, we've got my father Mark McMeekin on his O2 Yamaha Ward. Now this bike is equipped with the AIS block offs as well as an integrated LED tail light. He's holding on to Yamaha double T bars and for his exhaust, he's running Cobra long shots. He's also running a Cobra FI2000 to manage his fuel. Now this is Chris Hudson's 06 Yamaha Warrior. It sits just a little bit closer to the ground with a Black Path adjustable lowering kit installed on. It also has a set of Cobra swept exhaust and a Cobra Power Pro Black managing the fuel. It's also equipped with a Spectre air breather, integrated tail light, Baron's license plate mount, and Arlen Ness hand grips. And then on a bike bigger than all of ours, we've got Jeffrey King on his O2 VTX 1800. He's running with an upgraded ECU with Vance and Hines pipes and a Power Commander 3. So we rode up around the Stockton Lake area, and it was awesome. Guys, there's great views around there, and if you're anything like me, you love getting pictures and videos of your bike, and anytime you're at the lake, it's just the perfect backdrop for it. We were able to get up over by the dam and kind of just get off, take the time to take some pictures and videos, rest up a little bit, and just kind of hang out. 
We decided to go ahead and go back and get some lunch from there and kind of just split up and head our own separate ways after that. But we decided to do it again. So guys, be sure to look out for more videos because we will have some more videos coming up from these rides. We had a few that couldn't get with us this time and we hope that they can make it, you know, next time and kind of get some bigger rides together. Guys, as always, thanks for tuning in. Be sure to like this video and share it. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and that bell so you get notified whenever you get new videos. As always, we'll see you next time.